This MATLAB example using Simulink shows how to generate an AM signal from a sampled signal. If you have any questions on this demo, please contact me at http colon slash slash www.freedomuniversity.tv or you can contact me by email john at e hyphen l i t e w o r k s dot com or john at eliteworks.com. Before I give you a demo using MATLAB and Simulink and how to generate an AM signal from a sampled signal, let me give you some background information which requires some knowledge of Fourier analysis. First we have a signal, x sub t, and here is the Fourier transform of x t. Now we're going to take this Fourier transform and we're going to sample it in the time domain which we're going to give us an uh, ideal sampled signal in the frequency domain where everything is the same height, where it's centered at omega s and as well as its harmonics and centered at the origin also. So we have multiple spectra of the original signal. Okay, and say, let's say we bandpass filter this signal that gets rid of all of this spectra right here that's not inside the bandpass filter. Here in this case we centered it at the sampling frequency in radians per second. And that gives us these two spectra left. But we note that in our Fourier transform this is just an amplitude modulated signal. So once again we take our original signal, we sample it ideally, it gives us multiple spectra, then we bandpass filter this centered at one of the harmonics and in this case at the fundamental sampling frequency and that gives us our AM signal at the output of the bandpass filter which is just again an AM signal. Pictorially again we have a bandpass filter centered at the sampling frequency or one of the harmonics of the sampling frequency at the input of this bandpass filter we have a sampled signal which consists of multiple spectra of the original signal and at the output of the bandpass filter we have an AM signal. Now mathematically you can think of the sampled signal as a multiplication between X sub T and some periodic signal. In this case it's an ideal impulse train. And in the AM case we're just multiplying it by a cosine. But we note in any periodic signal, let's say a uh, pulse train, it consists of several sinusoidal signals at various harmonics. And in this case, these harmonics would be at the sampling frequency and its harmonics. So this is how we generate an AM signal from a sampled signal. And there are simple circuitry that we can use, such as a chopper modulator, to simulate a sampled signal. So that concludes the background, and now I'm going to give you a demonstration using Simulink found in MATLAB. So what I have here is going to be a demonstration of how to generate an AM signal from a sampled signal. What I did here was I have a message with a bias. So that gives us some uh, average signal, which just basically moves the signal up and down, the message. Now I'm going to multiply it by a pulse train that will give, simulate a sampled signal when I multiply these two, the pulse generator and this message. So at the output is really a sampled signal. From there I have a bandpass filter centered at whatever I'm sampling here. In this case I'm sampling at 100 Hertz period is 0.01 and therefore I have a bandpass filter with a 0 at 1 Hertz, 0 at and a pole at 80 and a po pole at 120 so this is centered around 100 Hertz and we're going to take a look at these signals by looking at the output. So that's the diagram of this simulink. 
Now we're going to run the simulation and we're going to look at the full screen uh, to see what the outputs look like. This is our block diamond and we're going to run the simulation now. Take a look at what's at the output of the message. It's just a sinusoid. Pulse generator given at 100 hertz. The output of that is right there. The sampled signal at the input of this bandpass filter is that. And the output of the bandpass filter is our amplitude modulated signal. So that proves the math that we are doing right here, the simulation. Let's change the message to a square wave. And you see here we have the same results. Our modulated message modulating this carrier, not carrier but this pulse train giving this simulated sampled signal, pass it through the bandpass filter and we get an AM signal. One more example, we'll use a sawtooth, run the simulation and we get the same result. Here's our sawtooth, our sampled sawtooth and our amplitude modulated sawtooth. And that concludes this demonstration and you can contact me with the following information if you have any questions on this demo.